Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas, Day 11. Now, today we're going to be talking about Krampus the Reckoning. Krampus the Reckoning is a 2015 film which runs approximately 90 minutes and is written and directed by Robert Conway. Now, this stars Monica and Gressler as Rachel. Amelia Haberman as Zoe, and James Ray as Detective Miles. Now, this is also known as The Hunted. Okay, Krampus the Reckoning. Now, I have a few of these movies, and I've been trying to spread them out. Throughout my 12 Days of Christmas, I still have a couple, like two or three more upstairs um, that you'll be seeing, of course, God willing, uh, next year, or maybe the year after. Um, in all honesty, I bought this before I started my channel with the intention of doing a 12 Days of Christmas. But every year, it seems like I found better movies to fill the gaps with. Now, I could have done that this year as well. I think it's been a pretty strong year as far as the 12 Days of Christmas. But I just, I finally, I had a urge to rewatch it because I, re, I watched it when I first got it, and that's been years ago. Okay, Krampus the Reckoning. Now, this has an interesting story, and I really like the premise of this film. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot else to like. You have a girl named Zoe who is being passed back and forth between foster families and she has this box where she has a little stuffed animal Krampus with chains on it. Well, when she takes the chains off and it unleashes Krampus to do her bidding against people that she feels are bad. Which I think is a really cool premise, as I said before. And I think this version of Krampus is really cool looking. Unfortunately, it's the CGI that kind of messes this one up a little bit. And I'm okay with bad CGI for the most part. The part about this film that bothers me the most is the little girl. She is so mean and so annoying that you really have no desire to see what happens to her or if, in fact, she does try to redeem herself. Now, after killing her, well, after unleashing Krampus and having him kill her foster parents, she ends up in this um, kind of like an orphanage sort of psych ward for troubled children. And everyone who gets on her bad side falls victim to Krampus. There is two other main characters Rachel is a caseworker who is trying to help this little girl fix her problems. And she is, in turn, friends with an kind of like an alcoholic cop who kind of has a thing for her, I guess. She kind of has a thing for him. It's kind of like a love sort of thing going on between the two. As I said before, I really enjoy this premise. I think it would have been a fantastic film had there not been the CGI and the little girl. Oh my god. And the little girl has to carry a majority of the film. And she's just so mean that you just don't care. You just want to slap her. I mean, she's just so nasty and mean-spirited. For example, there's a girl who got burnt by her father and her face is really burnt and really looks bad. And the little girl keeps calling her ugly. Like, it's not my fault you're ugly and your father did that to you. I mean, she's just so nasty. And it just makes you... It just takes me out of the film. So, it does have a neat premise. If you're interested in watching an, yet another Krampus movie, definitely check this one out. But this is not one that I really like all that much. So, take it for what it's worth. Please stay tuned for the last day. Day 12. And if you like what you're seeing here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.
Thank you.